What's up, Southern foodies? Welcome to Chash Travels, a channel where my wife and I search for the best food and the coolest places to visit throughout the southern states. Living in Mississippi, I figured this was a great place to start, so we're off to the Delta. We decided to visit Doe's Eat Place in Greenville, Mississippi. Established in 1941 with original owners Big Doe Cigna and his wife Mammy, this is said to be a must try when visiting. This is listed in the Travel Channel's 101 Best Places to Eat. Originally, the front part of the building was a honky tonk, strictly for black people. Every once in a while, a white doctor would pop in between calls for a meal. Being a white doctor, he ate in the back of the restaurant, and that doctor soon brought another doctor and a lawyer friend to eat. This led to the creation of the famous back room. Needless to say, this is a place with a ton of history. Let's see if they have some great food as well. So when coming through the front door, you immediately walk through the store and kitchen. There's a huge heat blast to your left from this big, huge oven they used to sear the steaks. Uh, the guy cooking the steak showed us the thermometer on the wall and it read 100 degrees in that area and it was 55 outside. So imagine doing that in the summer. It takes a lot of dedication. So I walked up to the front desk and the lady asked if I had a reservation, <laughs> which I did not. Now this doesn't look like the kind of place you would need a reservation for, so I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, luckily, they had a single table available in the corner right beside the kitchen. So we walked through the kitchen to our table and found the restaurant to be completely packed. Next time, I'm going to have to make a reservation. We sat down at the table and waited for service. Our waitress quickly arrived and my wife ordered a Diet Coke. I asked what kind of beers they had and the waitress replies that she didn't know. <laughs> But if I wanted to go up to the cooler in the front and look, that would be fine. I thought that was a little strange. Lucky for me, I was able to guess a Mississippi brewed favorite Southern Pecan, so they had that. Keep in mind, we still don't have menus, and spoiler alert, we never get them, leading me to believe they don't exist. No menus, which also means no prices. So if price is a problem, not having a menu could be an issue. Not sure if I like that or not. Laura asked what they had, and the waitress said they had steak, shrimp, and lobster. On the way up there, we had read that they had served really great tamales, and for some reason the waitress forgot to mention that. <laughs> we asked if we could get a few tamales as an appetizer, and uh, my wife settled in on the broiled shrimp uh, with their house special salad made with an olive oil, lemon juice, and garlic dressing. On the way, Laura and I had read at how the Porterhouse was their signature steak, for which they had won several awards, so I ordered that. After we placed our order, we sat back down and observed the place. It was like stepping back in time. Truly like eating in your great-grandmother's kitchen. Stress on the great. The first thing to come out were the tamales. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and admit I'm not a huge tamale fan, and neither is Laura. But I'm sure to someone who was, these would be really good. Uh, probably not something I would order again. The town of Greenville in general is very famous for their tamales. Uh, pretty good, but not something I would choose over a steak or shrimp. The waitress then comes with our entrees. Uh, we didn't wait too long, so uh, wait was not really an issue. So in her hands, I see Laura's broiled shrimp. And then the biggest steak I've ever seen in person. This thing is huge! Smells fantastic and is swimming in its own juices. Not only does it look good, but this immediately made my top five steaks list in my head. I took the first bite. Delicious. Truly worthy of those awards that it won. The waitress had forgotten about the salad, and we had to ask her to bring it out. Laura really enjoyed the salad, probably more than she enjoyed the shrimp, which in her words were simply average. The fries on both of our dishes were hand cut and really tasty, only needing a little salt and maybe some ketchup. We were so full we couldn't even consider dessert, 
Not to mention that there was no menu to see if they even had a dessert. <laughs> Overall, the steak was the star of the meal with everything else playing a minor role. If you go, do yourself a favor, order the steak. FYI, this particular steak ended up being $65 which is better than I was thinking after seeing it come out. Looking at it, I originally thought it was $100 due to the sheer size of the thing. So we found the food to be really good. Uh, the service was a little bit lacking. The lack of menus was a little weird. The surroundings were a little run down, but the, you know, that adds to the charm of the place. But overall, food was great. Service was a little bit lacking, but a really great experience overall. So have you visited Doe's Eat Place in Greenville, Mississippi? If so, how was your experience? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining us here on Chash Travels. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more great southern food reviews. And remember, you don't need a silver fork to enjoy great food. I'll see you next time.